For this tutorial, we're going to make a program that will convert from kilograms to grams or from grams to kilograms, depending on what the user selects. To start off, I'm going to change my backdrop with instructions on it. So you click right here, stage one backdrop, click on the backdrop tab, and then we can go ahead and adjust our backdrop. I'm going to write the title here, so kilograms, grams converter. I'm going to start another text box here, and I'm going to say enter, enter one for kilograms to grams, enter two for grams to, stay consistent, to kilograms. I'm also going to change my sprite. Change it to Dan here. I'll delete the cat and I'm going to make Dan much smaller. So his speech bubble doesn't overlap with our instructions. We can now go ahead and write our code. Make sure your sprite is selected. Under scripts, we'll go to events and we'll, when the flag is clicked, it starts out our program. We need three variables for this program, so go to data, make a variable. The first one will be called choice, since we're going to find out what the user wants to do. One or two, we're going to have a variable for kilograms and a variable for grams. Now it's important to initialize your variables and that means to give your variables a value at the beginning of your program and this will reset it if they do your run the program more than once. So you go to set and we're going to just set each one, each one to zero. So you can just duplicate a block by right clicking on it and I'm going to change this little pull down menu here to each one of my variables. So they're all set to zero. I'm also going to make sure that this is the costume. There are two costumes for Dan. There's this one, A and B, and I want to make sure that's how he starts off with, just to, because I'm going to change him a little later on just for fun. So make sure that it starts off as B. If it's reset, he'll reset to B. Now we can get the choice from the user. So let's ask the user, what would you like to do, one or two? Bring this answer block over, we're going to need it, and we'll set the user choice equal to the user answer. So now the variable choice is equal to whatever the answer the user put in. And we can determine now if they actually chose choice one, then we know we have to convert kilograms to grams. Just move your variables over if they're in the way. So we're going to be doing checking for that. So if else then is what's required, or sorry, if then else, and we're going to say if, so you need an operator for equals. If the user's choice was equal to one, then we know which calculation we need to do first. So well, if it's one, then we know that they wanted to go from kilograms to grams. So you're going to ask them for the kilograms. We need this answer block. Now we can set, so under data, you can set the kilograms to the user answer. And we can go ahead now and do our calculation. So to do that, you need another set block. And you're going to set the grams equal to, the conversion from kilograms to grams is just to multiply the number by 1,000, because there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So we need the multiplication operator, which is under operators. And in computer science, the star represents a multiplication symbol. Go under data. So we'll take the number of kilograms and we'll multiply that by 1,000 to get the number of grams. So we'll set grams equal to that operation. And then we can say to the user, looks, say, we're going to need a bunch of join operators. So under operators, go to join. And that's just so we can bring the strings and the variables together into one line. 
So if you don't know how many you need, you can just do some and then add some more later. I think that should be good. Let's try that out. So we need to do, there are, you're going to tell the user what the answer is or what the conversion is. So there are space because we don't want the number of grams to be right up next to that E. There are that many grams and we need to put a space, the unit in space, and then the number of kilograms that were entered in. And then you can enter in kilograms for the units. Now, if they didn't select choice one, then that means they selected choice two, and choice two was to convert grams to kilograms. So we can go ahead and ask the user for the number of grams. So how many grams? Bring out this answer block, go to operators, oh, sorry, data, and set grams equal to the user answer. And we can calculate from grams to kilograms now. So we need another set block change it to kilograms. The calculation to go from kilograms to grams is to divide by 1000. So go to operators, get your divide operator out, stick in under data, stick in the number of grams the user entered in and divide that by 1000. So now we've set the number of kilograms equal to the number of grams the user entered in divided by 1000. Then we're going to say something. I'm just going to duplicate that block. So just right click on the block you wish to duplicate because it has all the joins set up for us. And the only thing you need to do is put the kilograms. So it's there are that many kilograms and then just change the units. Since we're going the other way around, we just have to switch them. And the last thing I'd like to do is to be a little bit fancy go to switch costume and when he actually answers the question he'll switch to a different costume just for fun so let's try running our program now what would you like to do one or two let's try one first how many kilograms let's say there are four kilograms and then Dan here tells us that there are 4,000 grams in four kilograms let's run a program again and this time I'm going to select option two let's say there are five 5,000 grams. There are five kilograms in the 5,000 grams that we entered in. That's it.